Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Ezra, and welcome back to another action figure review. Today, we have the Star Wars Amazon exclusive Emperor Palpatine. This is a big unboxing today, guys. Big boy. This guy, from Am you can only buy him on Amazon. He's big. Costs you about $42 after tax. And this guy is big. He's cool. And he's detailed. So he has two heads here. Two uh, lightning hands. And then a cane. This thing is crazy cool, man. I can't wait to get this guy open. Comes with the throne, of course. Huge nothing we saw right there. Back, you know, it has a description of the character there and the little faded portrait. Side. Whatever. Enough of the box. We need to get this cool guy open. Alright, guys. I got him out of the packaging. It was super hard. So, let's get into him. Uh, he's an awesome figure. Way better than that older Palpatine that came out a couple years ago. But he's awesome. So, I have one of the alternate uh, heads on um, right here. Uh, so, the heads are, like, really, really, really hard um, to get on. But, I managed to get this one on. It was hard as heck. Um... I manage the paint apps on these heads are absolutely amazing if I can get it to focus I don't know um, but look at that the paint apps on his head are absolutely amazing they're so good they did they paid so much attention to detail on these heads so much attention awesome super good really captures his old man creepy dark look i love it he has a cane that he also comes with here um a little bit short but you know it does it does its job very well you hunch him over he looks like an old man and it's good i really like the cane um what else is there? So articulation, he's very articulated, of course. He has a ball jointed head. The, the limbs come very tight, and I'm actually I actually like that very much nice tight. But yeah, the limbs are tight. Um let's pull up the waist and bend at the elbow, and double jointed knees under there, and let's pull up the waist. And all that sort of. Under the robes, you can see he has like a little like this is uh plastic here. Um, it's a little, like, thing that hangs there, but, you know, it's normally covered up by the beautifully, beautiful plastic robes. I mean, not plastic robes, I'm sorry. Fabric robes, I love soft goods, man, it's so good. Alright, so let's get to more of the accessories, I guess. So it comes with the old man, like, pointy finger. So all of these hands, you can pop off. Um, again, very... Very hard to do. Just uh, working on popping these guys. Ugh, okay, I got his hands off. Oh, and again. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help but, you know, do that. All right. So, as you can see here, he has his alternate hands, and they are the lightning hands. I'm going to guess that it's really hard to get them in. Uh, I would assume. So let me just glue it out here. Okay, no, that's actually not that bad. And then let me just pop this boy in. Ah. I apologize for the footage of me struggling to get the accessories onto the figure. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. The lightning combined with this scowling face really just does the figure justice. Like, look at this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, here's, I love it. It's so good. With the lightning. 
Uh, the only one to complain is it looks like his fingers are turning into the lightning, not his hands spewing out lightning, but, you know, whatever. Alright, it still looks good. It's creepy, like always. So, he also, of course, comes with the throne here. Um, very classy. They did a very good job with the cushions in here. Uh, I read some reviews, of course, before I bought this figure. And, yeah, there is some excess glue a little bit here. But if you display it like this, it really doesn't matter. Um, up here, they did a very good job. Pay attention to detail. Look at that little spike and two dots. Very well. Very well done. Um, he sits... In the chair, pretty well. Um, his head does come close to the um, thing here, but you this this is good. You can just uh, slide him in there, and he will sit on the throne, just like that. Now I, you know, I looked at some of the pictures from Jedi, Turn of the Jedi, and um, yeah, he's a closer in here, but it doesn't really matter. It still looks good. Um, yeah. Uh, overall, they just have so much good details in this guy. Finish is really good. I'm sorry if this video is too long. Uh, I really am. So, yeah. That's the figure. He's an awesome figure. I really recommend him. Um, I think that's about it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this very awesome review of this very awesome figure. I hope you did indeed enjoy it. I have been your reviewer, Ezra, and I will see you guys in the next one.